Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Squad Reacts Ruby Edition here on the channel. And you guys might be wondering why the heck I have a big thick marker and some nice white paper. Well, if you're part of the Miss Cat Squad Clubhouse, you already know what this is about. And yes, it is Ruby related, so... Let's get rolling, guys. I promised you I would do this before I actually start the actual episode. So let's just get drawing, Ruby. All right, with my eyes closed, by the way. Here we go. All right, so I do some uh, digital art here and now, and I'm gonna try my best. Oh! oh my God, don't sniff this stuff. I'm gonna try my best to just draw with my eyes closed and out of memory of how Ruby looks to me. So wish me luck, all right. Right, so we got a nice head right here. We got an ear. We got her hair. Okay, we got that beautiful hair. So we gotta get her body too. I know she has a little capey thing because she's a little red. All right, gorgeous. Look at that. She's probably looking so beautiful. Um, little eye. Little eye thing. This was like anime. She's always smiling, so give her a nice smile. Oh, look, she's probably so cute. Little thing there. Okay, little hood. Well, we gotta draw her, her weapon, too, in the back of her. Okay, nice. There's a little guy. Okay. And then... Does it look good? What the even... Hey guys, we're going to be reacting to chapter number seven and number eight together because you guys said that chapter seven was, uh, it's much short. It's actually, I should have watched chapter six and seven together since six was so short, but I'm going to watch seven and eight together. So if you guys want me to mix it up in the next few episodes, let me know so it flows better together. But as you know, I love leaving people off on cliffhangers, so there's that. So last time we found out all about the aura and also we found out all about, you know, how the characters are going to bond and also the Grim. You guys told me and you reminded me that the Grim don't have any aura and I thought that they did, but actually no, the Grim don't have aura because they don't have a soul. So that's really important to note here because it because they don't have a soul that adds to the lore of how creepy that these Grimm are. And as a fan of creatures, I'm really excited to really get into the nitty gritty behind these Grimm. So I'm hoping, I mean, again, like what I like to say in the podcast that I have on our Patreon page, which is reminds me, before I continue talking on, let us tell you about some of the awards you can get by joining the clubhouse on our Patreon page. Take it away, Derek. Hey, Ruby fans. For those who showed us nothing but positivity and support, we really appreciate your support for Squad Reacts Ruby Edition. This is why we want to reward you guys for being such an amazing supportive audience with even more content and ideas for your favorite series, Ruby. We are so happy to announce our new rewards for our Patreon page by giving you guys new content such as The Rambly Ruby Podcast, a Patreon-only Ruby-related podcast that airs every Thursday right after the episode. Uncut episodes. Every Thursday, you get access to some behind-the-scenes Squad Reacts Ruby episodes. Early access episodes. You get Squad Reacts Ruby episodes earlier, right on Patreon. Shoutouts. If you pledge $10 or more, you'll be listed on the credits, and you get to vote on topics mentioned on the Rambly Ruby podcast. Top 5 reasons to love Ruby characters, and many more rewards. All you have to do is visit us on Patreon at patreon.com slash miscutsquad. The link is down in the description down below. Now let's get into the episode. So as I like to say on the uh, the Rambling Squad podcast a lot is I am really excited to see how the Grim go because there's I'm a really fan a big big fan of creatures so the different classes of Grim can be so like so cool to see like their different rankings and classes and how the races of Grim and also like how the big ones and the small ones and what another thing I like to address on the podcast is how the series just threw us into this forest and threw us in to the bad guys and just these creatures just coming at you like here and there and one of the facts is that they all came together and they're already huge they're huge they're big there's bears there's uh, other ones I don't know what they were based on and then there's also snakes there's one huge creature that is based on a snake with two heads that's crazy like that that is insanely insane because it's just the first few episodes of the series of volume one 
and we're already meeting these types of grim, which I love, which is a great flow of pace. In a lot of anime, you see this. In games, you don't, because in video games, you usually have to fight a few battles first before going into, like, the major boss. And it starts you off, like, a, a great example is The Legend of Zelda. You start off with some of the, like, iconic type of, like, the moblins and everything that you fight. And then you get to the bigger and greater bosses as you, like, advance forward. But with this, it just throws you in, and you, all these different classes of grim are just all around you. So I can't wait to see what our girls do and how they really, you know, survive this. But we also learned a little bit about Bumblebee and what their, what the excitement of Bumblebee is all about because as you guys know, I'm a huge shipper and I support every single Ruby ship is valid on this channel. I have to keep saying that because if you want to talk about your ships, just ask, who do you guys ship? What's your favorite ship? And start conversations with each other because this is a community. So what I'm really excited for is seeing how Bumblebee does develop over time. And somebody said, Kat, you're actually on point about Bumblebee, but you have actually no idea about them. And I'm, that's true because I'm, I'm going in blind with this series but what's really funny is that I can already see how they're gonna be bonding and how why people do ship them because they're pulls apart and also how like the dynamic between the two with the duo is just ah gorgeous right there but anyway guys let's just jump into this because I can't wait again this is a great time that I look forward to recording because it says as if I'm watching an anime or a Saturday morning cartoon with you guys so without any further ado let's get into chapter 7 of Ruby Like, uh, this would be such a good game, like, you know, like a song to play in rock band. A guitar hero or something. <laughs> I can't wait for him to come back. Uh -huh. Aha! My boy, my bean. I'm gonna say that every episode. Here we go! Here we go! <laughs> Oh boy, his cup. Home, sir. Nora Valkyrie and Lai Ren. Poor boy. Oh. I can't possibly imagine those two getting along. <sighs> Still, he's probably better off than Miss Nikos. <laughs> I don't care what his transcripts say. That Jean fellow was not ready for this level of combat. <gasps> don't, don't I hurt my boy, okay? Enough. At their current pace, they should reach the temple within just a few minutes. Hmm. Speaking of which, what did you use as relics this year? I love her hair. Professor Ospin. Ospin? Hmm. Oh, he's intrigued. I mean, good transition. Way. It's definitely this. <laughs> I love you. All right. It's official. We passed it. <laughs> can't you just admit that you have no idea where we're going? Because I know exactly <laughs> where we're going. We're going to the Forest Temple. <laughs> You don't know where we are either. Oh my god! I'm not pretending like I know everything. <laughs> that supposed to Ooh. mean? Means you're a big stupid jerk and I hate you! You're a stupid jerk! <laughs> I hate Just you! Kidding. Hurry up! Well, watch where you're going! Oh my god! I'm so bossy! I'm not bossy! Don't say things like that! Stop treating me like a kid! Stop acting <laughs> like a kid! Well, stop acting like a <laughs> I'm not perfect! Oh! Not yet. Ooh. But I'm still leagues better than you. Ooh. 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 You don't even know me. Aw. You guys will get along. It'll it'll happen. <gasps> my girls. My girls. My girls. My girls. Think this is it? <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> Ooh. Chess pieces? Some of them are missing. Hmm. Looks like we weren't the first ones here. Well, I guess we should pick one. Oh no. Think this is it? Just rent cave, oh my god. I'm not sure this is it. <sighs> Pira. Pira. I made the torch. Got it, I got Pira. Could you at least Pira. humor me for maybe five more feet? <laughs> <laughs> Every episode. <laughs> Do I love that. Feel that? Oh no! What? Soul crushing regret. <laughs> warm. Hmm. Oh. How about a cute little pony? Yeah, a pony. Sure. Friendship is magic. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. Well, it's not like this place is very difficult to find. Hmm. Her face is like. <laughs> That's the relic. Yes. Oh no. Just don't touch it. Pierre, say something. Hmm, what? Bad relic. 
to bed. Yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Jean? Oh no. Oh! Oh! What? Blake, did you hear that? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Oh! Look at grass on it. Always being thrown, always no. being hurt every episode. <laughs> oh, here I go. Blake, did you hear that? What should we do? Oh, <laughs> yes, they're reunited, reunited. Oh my gosh, John. It's not the relic. <laughs> Oh my god, the, the comedy with him is on point. The comedy on him is on point. I love this. Oh my god. All right, so I'm, I'm intrigued. Like, what type of, like, relics that there's going to be? And why did she chose the pony? You know, friendship is magic if we're going to My Little Pony. Um, she chose the pony over everything else. But I don't know. I mean, what do those represent? And also, who came before them? So, guys, there's a new creature. I mean, it's just throwing these things at us left and right. It's not even saying, like, Okay, again, here's little little Grim, but no, this Grim is like a huge scorpion. And what I liked about its design too is it has, as I'll show on the screen right now, it has like grass and everything. You know, it's it's showing off its grass that he was like kind of asleep from probably many many years. And Jean probably, as you know, our boy Jean, our Bean probably just awoke at it. And you know, he's like, oh, it's not the relic. But you don't just go and touch glowing things. That kind of reminded me of a scene on Finding Nemo when, <laughs> when Nemo's dad and Dory. When they saw like the glowing light and they were like, oh, I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch it. Like, oh, I love that scene. I also love finding Nemo, so that was really good to see. But oh my god! The girls are getting reunited and also oh Weiss, Weiss, girl. Come on. Let's get along, Ruby and Weiss. Come on. We're gonna get them get them along. But oh, I can start seeing why you guys love Bumblebee. I mean, I would love to know why do you love them and um what kit you expect to see. Like, what do I, what can I, like, without spoiling me, because I know you guys are really great with spoilers and keeping, making sure I don't get spoiled or anything, but is there any upcoming scenes with the ship of Bumblebee that you think that I'm going to be really, like, excited to see about? Another thing is, is there going to be, like, exciting scenes with other characters in their ships and am I going to be fangirling and crying over about? Because when it comes to ships, I end up crying a ton. I end up crying a ton over ships because if they're so adorable, then you want to hug them and you want to protect them. That's when I start getting get like this but lots of tissue boxes to come but let's move on to episode eight which is chapter eight and it's ruby chapter eight players and pieces so ooh, get some chess references i for one can't play chess so i would love to learn one day but if you guys know how to play chess let me know but that's just a question of the day but my knuckles dang yeah let's get started Like re reenact the whole opening. I want, I, I want her back. I want her on her own motorcycle so bad. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Other oh, symbols are cool too. If you have any Ruby AMVs to share, let me know. Like sisters, though. Jump! Oh. Oh, you insufferable little rat! Did you hear that? What should we do? Her face. Look, what's the timing? What is the timing that this would happen? What was that? It was Johnny Boy. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Ruby. Did your sister like, hey, 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 dude. <laughs> yes, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Is it Nora? Yes, it is. Aw. Oh. Broken. Aw. Yeah. <laughs> Please. Oh. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> 
Oh god, where is she? Oh my god, I love them. They're so cute together. I'm queen of the castle. I'm ah! queen of the castle. <laughs> He keeps her in line. Girl just riding on an Ursa? I... Yes. Everything is just bad happening. All this stuff is happening. See, look at the grass. Look at that. Yes, Pyra. Yes. Pyra. <laughs> Pyra. Oh my God, I keep saying it wrong. Ruby. Ruby. My goodness. Yang. Yay! <laughs> Did she just run all the way here with <laughs> Deathstalker on the tail? <laughs> Could everyone just chill out for two seconds before something crazy Yay. happens Yay. again? Don't go Super Saiyan here. <laughs> um, oh my god, Nora is adorable. How could you leave me? <laughs> oh she my She's gonna fall. god. She'll be fine. She's falling. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna, he's, he knows his moment. Yeah. That was his chance. Just dropping in. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no! Oh, my God. <laughs> my hero. <laughs> that was fantastic. Great. So Just here. drop again. <laughs> Not if I can. Oh, God. Ruby, wait. <laughs> She just goes. What these people, these teens, just go in without plans. Totally fine. But I can relate to that. Oh no. <laughs> yes, that was so cool. Like, Ruby. protect your sister. Protect your little sister. Oh my god, I like that. Oh, that one might be my favorite so far. Look at it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my lord. No. Ruby, Wait, how, how strong is her- I'm unless- trying. Just rip it! How strong is the cloth? Ruby? 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 No. Oh. Oh, she got- you Dude. Are so childish. Weiss just saved her. Oh! Oh. Oh. Difficult. Oh, they're but getting along. Going to do this, she cares. She saved her. Oh. So if you quit trying to show off, I'll be oh nicer. I'm not the queen has spoken. Show off. I want you to know I can do this. Oh. You're fine. <sighs> oh. They're friends. Oh, oh. Lord. <laughs> oh my god, I want 20 of those! Guys, that thing's circling back. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Is it like a vulture? There's no sense in dilly dallying. Our objective is right in front of us. She's right. Our mission is to grab an artifact and make it back to the cliff. Yes. Oh, they're friends. Oh, I'm so happy they're friends now. Oh my god. Character development. Oh. Oh. It, as this is still going on. Oh, Time we left. guys. Right. Guys. Okay, good. Let's go. Good. They're going to be working together. Okay, they're working together now. It's fine. Oh, she's proud. What is it? Oh. Nothing. Oh. She's proud of her little sister. Oh, my God. Oh. She's happy to see her happy. I like that. I don't know how they're not they're, how they're gonna survive this, guys. I don't know how they're gonna survive this. Oh. Oh, it's so cool. The little the little on its on its wings with the arms. That's great. Fantastic. You're gonna have to separate. You're gonna have to separate. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Oh, that must if that cut someone. Ooh, Nora. Oh my goodness. It's, she has a heart on it. God, her character design is so cool. Oh yeah. 
Look, this is some intense training. Like this is this is like final exams right here, but I don't think even think this is this is the first time they're doing this. What the final exam is gonna be? Oh my god. Look at it! Oh, I can't the claws on its arm! Oh, like the, the wings! Jean? You've got enough you got hurt in the last two episodes. Please no more. Oh, Blake! Come on, come on, come on. Man, we gotta get over there. They need help! Heck yeah. yeah! But uh, I can't make that jump. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wait. What is she? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is so fast on all this. <laughs> oh my god. How are you gonna Yes! Okay, so I love this because it's kind of showcasing all their weapons right now. And their abilities, oh my god, and the music. How are you just, you just jump, you just go, she's just going. It's tougher than it looks. That's so cool. They're always by each other like that. <laughs> no. Ooh, what's that the effect? Oh my god, this is episode eight. This is, this, oh. But I love this because it's really, it's really at this part you're, you're learning more about their weapons and their abilities. Like, ah! Oh. oh my god. My girls, my daughters, I'm so proud of each and every single one of them. Well, I like this how it like separated all the main together. Yeah, oh my god. Yang. Yeah, see now it's like uh, secondary cast and the main cast is with each other. I love that. How they separate that uh, good plot, good plot, and the, uh, the timing too. Oh. Ow. <laughs> She's like. Ooh. Right in the eye. Boy, get up. Pira, done. Do it, Pira, Pira, do it, do it, do it. Boomerang right there. <laughs> I love you, Dora. <laughs> John's legs. <laughs> okay, I gotta listen to music. If you guys want me to, um, whenever they do music reveal to listen to those lyrics, let me know. Oh, oh! My God, that's a sore throat right there. Oh my god, it's so cool! I want that as a pet! It's like a crow, raven, falcon, vulture, dragon! <laughs> nice. I mean, I'd be proud if I was the professors watching them doing this, because they're great teamwork. And they're not even like, it's like the tactics that they're using, I love this. Of course you would come up with this idea. <laughs> you think you can make the shot? Hm. Can I? Of course I can! <laughs> yeah, can you? <laughs> oh. Yes! Oh my god. Oh! I do it! <laughs> Poor Grim though. Even though, I mean, I know, I know they're just, you know, it's- Walt's head just came flapping off, and it just come okay, now it's headless, it's just in the body- wow. Perfection. <laughs> he's- he's- Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, I was right, Jean. The main cast! The main cast! My daughters! <laughs> well, that was a thing. <laughs> Russell Thrush, Carden Winchester. Oh, 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 back here, back here. The four of you retrieved the Black Bishop pieces. From this day forward, you will work Ooh. together as. Oh my god, his hair! Oh! Led by Carden Winchester. <laughs> John Ark, Ly Wren, Kira so... Nikos, Nora Valkyrie. The four of you retrieved the White Rook. Oh my god, I love this. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Juniper. 
Team Juniper. <laughs> oh! Led by Jean Arc. Jean? Huh? My boy's a squad Led by... leader. Congratulations. Oh, I'm so happy for him. <laughs> oh. And finally, Blake Belladonna, Ruby Rose, Weiss Schnee, and Yang Shao Long. I love their names. Four of you retrieve the White Knight pieces. From this day forward, you will work together as Team Ruby. Oh. Led by Ruby Rose. Oh, oh, Weiss. I'm so proud of you. Oh, is Weiss gonna be okay with it? It looks like things are shaping oh. up to be an interesting year. Oh my God, this writing is just <laughs> Oh. My God, oh, I love this. Oh, I'm so happy they're back in the academy. Oh, oh no, oh, boy, he's back. Did I wish for it too soon? Oh my God, look at that makeup. He's a he's a booty guru right there. Beauty guru right there. Oh. Open it. Oh no. Oh no. We're gonna need more men. Oh no. And he's <sighs> Okay, so <laughs> Okay, okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I, did, I thought all of them were gonna all be on a team together, but they're separated. But I also love this because now Johnny boy, my boy Jean, my man, my bro, he is a squad leader and I love that. And so is Ruby, so, oh, I'm so happy. But th that other team um, with the Mohawk guy, they're all like, they're like, like gritty and stuff. And like, I'm so excited to see who they are and meet them because Anime has a lot of characters, especially anime like um, Bleach and Attack on Titan. Anything that has a lot of like action to it. So this is gonna have a lot of characters, I'm hoping. And even like the secondary cast. You guys were saying to me that, especially on Twitter, you were saying, um, I'm gonna really enjoy like the secondary and minor characters because I'm that person who really loves minor characters other than just the main and talking about those minor characters to really learn more about them, who they are, what they want, what they want to do with their lives. And I'm that person that will, if you have a favorite minor character and you have you have to have a place to talk about it, here is the place to do so because I love learning about minor characters. So, oh man, this pacing. I'm a huge fan of this because it, it's going from like, point like oh man like when he said when Hammaster said um it's an interesting year i'm wondering if because they probably create like different teams every year so he's he's like maybe he has a lot of like strong belief in them but man he's gonna need a lot of whatever he drinks you guys said it was like hot cocoa or uh i, I for one think it's coffee but you said it was like hot chocolate but oh my god he's got to drink a lot of that with all the all the shenanigans that they're gonna get into but Villain dude. What he mean by we're gonna need a lot more guys because he's probably stalking and seeing what they're up to and realizing that they're really good at what they do. And Ruby, especially with her tactics and having like leading the team forward. And I'm so happy Yang is proud of her. I'm not sure about Weiss. Like she seems shocked that Ruby got it, but I didn't hear her like complaining about it. Maybe it will be later on or maybe that they're friends now. It wouldn't bother her as much, but <sighs> I'm scared. Like, what do you mean by we're gonna need more men? Because he, pro he probably saw what they were up to. He probably saw what they were doing. And now he knows that, you know, he's not a match for these girls, especially them. And pff, I'm just, you guys said it gets emotional, so I'm not ready for that. I'm already attached to them. And I think, is it like an ongoing joke that Jean is gonna get hurt or, or thrown in every single episode? Because every episode he's been in, he's either gotten hurt, pushed around or something. And people are always like, oh, Jean's not ready. But look, <laughs> look what just happened. He ready, he's squad leader, that's right. He know what he do. He know, he might be flying around, but he know what he do. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Ruby. Be sure to check out our Patreon page for more Ruby fun, especially for a squad rambling podcast. We are covering all the episodes and chapters of Ruby until we finish up on all the volumes. So be sure to check that out. And it's a fun podcast that I like to do with you guys. And it's a lot of fun. So if there's any topics you want me to discuss for the squad rambling podcast, let me know. And I will totally add it to the list. But anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you want more Ruby per week. And also don't forget the bell notification. And don't forget to hit the 
the big thumbs up because that helps me know. And that was weird, like I'm, I'm a clock now. That helps me know if you really want more Ruby on this channel. That's right, the Ruby dance. I'm so ADHD right now, it's not even funny. But anyway guys, I hope you have an amazing day. You stay safe out there. And as always, Miss Cats, until the next video, brace your fangirl and you're in a fanboy every single day. Bye guys. Hey squad, thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Miss Cat Squad. If you wanna follow our adventures outside of YouTube, be sure to check out the description down below for all these awesome fun links. And if you really love what we're doing on YouTube and want to be part of the journey and to contribute to it, be sure to check out to our Patreon page for awesome monthly awards. Thanks again squad, and until the next video, embrace your inner fangirl and your inner fanboy every single day.